Hi, my name is Eric. I'm with HRCT, your leading MSP here in Hampton Roads. Today, I'd like to show you how to use our customer portal. Let's get started. All right, to get to the customer portal, you're gonna type hrct.myportallogin.com. Once the portal loads, uh, most of our customers use Office 365, so you can just go ahead and click sign in with Microsoft. This is gonna direct you to the Microsoft sign-in page where you can put in your Microsoft 365 credentials. If you have MFA, it's going to send an approval to your phone to approve that sign-in request. If you have multiple companies attached to your email address, you get to select them here. Um, for this demo, we're going to select HRCT. All right. When you get to the home page of the portal, you'll have several buttons here, and those those buttons may be different depending on your um, permissions. Um, the first one here is just submit a ticket. Uh, when you click submit a ticket, we have four different forms here that you can fill out. Um, the first is the most generic, I have a problem. Um, it's just gonna ask you to uh, include any details about the problem you might have. My printer doesn't print. Click next, you'll get to fill out when did you notice the problem? Is it prevented you from doing work? Is anyone else experiencing the problem? If you have a screenshot, you can attach them. The best time to contact you, morning, afternoon, anytime. And then the contact if it's not you. Uh, everybody in your organization will be listed here if you need to put this ticket in for somebody else. Um, after you do that, click send, and I'll send that ticket right over to our help desk. If you have a new employee starting, we really recommend you use this form rather than just email the details. And the reason being is that we ask you for a lot of specific information that you might not think about when you're just sending an email. So first off, the new user's full name. So John Doe. Uh, the title, Vice President. The new user's start date. Uh, it's important so we know um, how quickly we need to turn this ticket around. So let's just say this person starting uh, next Monday. Um, and then the new user's equipment. So if they're gonna use an existing workstation, uh, you can note that here. If you want to quote on a new workstation, you can also note that. We're gonna say existing workstation. On the next screen, uh, we have a free form box for the application requirements. Uh, so maybe uh, they need to have um, Adobe Acrobat. Uh, permissions, any permissions that you need them to have. So access to the shared drive. And then if you selected new workstation quote, you can fill this out as to any details about the new workstation. If your company has a formal process for a new hire form, you can click uh, attach and attach that new hire form so that we can have a copy of that. Uh, when you're all done, just click submit. All right, one of the other forms that you can do when you're creating a new ticket is I have an employee separating. So a lot of our customers forget to tell us when uh, somebody leaves their company. And it's important that we know about this so we can disable their access for the best security. So you can put the name of the employee that's separating, John Doe. Uh, his date of separation, so if he gave uh, two weeks notice and we'll go put that two weeks out. Uh, if you want to schedule the time, um, it's going to autofill today's time or the current time. Um, so we'll just say 5 p.m. And do you want to disable the account or change the password? So if you disable the account, no one will be able to log in as John Doe. Uh, but if you change the password, then you'll be able to log in to explore what John Doe has been doing for you and look at any of his information. We'll choose next. Uh, next thing we're going to ask you about is email handling. So do you want to forward any new mail to somebody else? Uh, do you want to give somebody full mailbox access? Um, or do you want to delete the mailbox and free up a license? Uh, we're going to say 
full mailbox access and make a note on who should have that access. If you have a separation form, you can attach that here. If you don't, otherwise just click submit. And the last ticket form that we have here on the portal is I need a password reset. Um, this one's a pretty easy one. You just put the name of the user who needs the password reset. If you, if you know their username, uh, you can put that there. And the destination for the new password. So who do you want to give this password to? Because um, usually the user who needs it reset can't access their email. So we're going to say, uh, um, urgency, high, medium, or low, and any notes that you have. When you're done, just click submit. All right, the next thing you can do in your customer portal is look up a ticket. So if you have multiple tickets and you're not sure what status uh, all those tickets are in, you can just click on that button and you'll see all the different tickets uh, that might be assigned to uh, your company. If you are an admin for your company, you'll get to see everybody's tickets. Uh, but if you're just a standard user, you'll see only your own tickets. Um, if you wanted to look at any of the details um, on these tickets, just click on them and you'll see the dates or the notes on the technician that's uh, last made some notes on it. And if you need to add a note, you can just type it in. Uh, what's the status of this ticket? And send that over to the technician assigned. There you have it. Now that you know, go ahead, give it a try. HRCT, keeping you connected.